Hello. This is a, a short overview of the MSc Computational Finance for the Postgraduate Open Day 2024. I'm the program director and admissions tutor of the MSc Computational Finance. So I will uh, give uh, some general information, talk of the choice of optionals and on the summer project. The MSc Computational Finance is a blend of mathematics, finance, statistics, and computer science. So it's not just finance and computer science, as somebody believe. There is also a lot of mathematics and statistics, although not too much and not so much as in a department of mathematics. It is taught in the department of computer science, which is uncommon because uh, most uh, um, similar degrees are taught either in mathematics or in economics, so we are somehow uh, in between. A peculiarity is that most summer projects are done within an industry placement in London, which is also rare. Usually the final dissertation is an academic project done in the university, whereas here you have the opportunity to put a foot in industry. UCL consistently classifies among the top five universities in Europe, the top 20 in the world, according to the most important rankings. The Department of Computer Science specifically is classified first or second in the UK research evaluation framework 2021 and also in the previous one. And specifically, the MSCCF was ranked the second in the UK, sixth in Europe, and 23rd in the world by the Risk.net Quant Finance Master's Guide 2023. Here, one should observe that the 23rd position in the world is due to the fact that about the whole first 20 positions are taken by the United States because in the United States, higher salaries are paid and a large fraction of the objective function for the classification here comes from the salaries reported by uh, alumni. And of course, we are taught by top academics, as you can see here, uh, following uh, these uh, links. <clears throat> the MSc is a part, Computation Finance, is part of an evolving landscape of uh, uh, similar programs with a varying amount of mathematics and programming. So you should decide which you want uh, to apply. At the top, there is the MSc Financial Mathematics taught in the Department of Mathematics, which of course uh, is mostly about mathematics. And then within our group here in boldface, we offer the MSc Financial Risk Management, the MSc Computational Finance, which are very similar. This one, perhaps FRM is slightly more theoretical. And this one has a slightly higher computational content. And then the newer MSc financial technologies and emerging digital technologies, which are geared for people with an interest in uh, blockchain, crypto, fintech, uh, decentralized finance, and a less technical and computational content than these. But then there are also others, uh, other degrees offered in finance uh, across UCL, like the MSc Banking and Finance, MSc Finance, uh, the MSc Software Systems Engineering with the Financial Systems uh, Engineering track. So uh, before you uh, apply to the MSc Computation Finance, consider whether any of these other programs suits you better. Also because uh, you cannot apply to more than that many programs. Other related uh, MSc programs at uh, UCL uh, don't have anything to do with finance. Uh, for instance, uh, the MSc Scientific and Data Intensive Computing, then uh, these programs in machine learning, uh, mathematical modeling, and business analytics. So they are related to the other components of the MSc Computational Finance, uh, which are mathematics, statistics, uh, and computer science. And you might wish to consider them uh, as well. Let's come to the program structure. There are four compulsory modules, financial engineering and numerical methods for finance in term one, data science and machine learning with applications in finance in term two. And then you may choose four optional modules, which I will talk about in the next slide. 
In the summer, you will do a project which weights one third towards your overall degree uh, and runs about uh, 9 June to September 2000, actually 25 here. Hmm? There is a voluntary refresher and support course without exam and credits for mathematics and uh, programming. So the optional modules are uh, a lot. They are six in term one and six in term two. You may choose only four. You don't need to choose two in term two and two in term one. You can choose three plus one, or one plus three, or four plus zero, or zero plus four. And they are operational risk, probability theory and stochastic processes, market microstructure, financial institutions and markets, market risk, blockchain technologies, applied computational finance, networks and systemic risk, algorithmic trading, financial market modeling and analysis, numerical optimization, advanced machine learning in finance, plus elective modules. So I'm not going to go into the detail of the fine print here, but in principle, you can also request off-diet modules like uh, research computing with C++, uh, research software engineering with Python, techniques of high performance computing, numerical methods, and a few others that I'm not going to list uh, in uh, detail. So you are actually spoiled for choice with uh, respect uh, to uh, optional modules, although I must say that elective modules are slightly harder to get because uh, typically they have uh, um, timetable clashes, uh, or um, you don't get into them because uh, you are on a lower priority and the course capacity, the module capacity has already been uh, hit by um, students with a higher priority. So you have a sort of a guarantee that you get uh, the optional modules listed before, but you may be, get lucky and also get uh, the opportunity of enrolling to one or two elective uh, modules. So here is another list of elective modules, uh, which are somehow related to what we do, mutuated from the uh, Kazin programs, uh, financial technology and emerging technologies offered in our, uh, from our group. The last topic I'm talking about is the summer project. It is usually um, undertaken in an industry environment uh, organized by UCL staff with both an academic and an industrial supervisor. So you get the experience of doing project work in a real life setting and uh, sometimes leads to an offer of a permanent job at the end of uh, the project. You may also might find your own placement, uh, which however must be approved by uh, UCL, or you may opt for a research intensive academic project without placement, which is usually done by our uh, brightest uh, students with the highest marks who have academic more than um, commercial uh, interests. <clears throat> There is a long list here, so usually we get the question, where do we get placed or where does UCL uh, place us? Uh, and uh, here in these slides, uh, uh, there is a, a full list of placements since 2013. There has been a shift from uh, um, large banks uh, uh, about uh, ten, a few large banks like Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank, uh, Paribas, uh, Royal Bank of Scotland, who would take, uh, I don't know, five to 12 uh, students each to smaller <clears throat> fintechs, which uh, take uh, just uh, one or two each, one each, three each. Uh, uh, for each in more recent years. This trend is confirmed by fellow uh, program directors uh, across uh, the world. Uh, you can read uh, articles on this uh, in the, the usual portals, uh, and uh, it affects uh, the US uh, as much uh, as uh, uh, the United Kingdom and uh, other places. So 
Thank you very much uh, for uh, your interest uh, and uh, I'm looking forward uh, to look uh, at your application for the MSc Computational Finance uh, at UCL.